Welcome back, everyone. This was one of the most fun days I've ever had out there. You got to see a little clip of all the craziness about to go down. A ton of fish, a lot of fun, pretty little black tip, and a beautiful day with mental current. So sometimes when you find these lobsters, you can try and ram your hand and just grab it as soon as you can. But that hole was a bit deeper than I thought I could grab him if he went too far. So I was trying to push him over to the side so I can get him. And just like that, right back into the hole I tried to get him out of. So this species right here is called banded rudderfish. They look like Almaco jacks or lesser amber jacks, but these are banded rudderfish. And they taste amazing. They are, I think, the closest you can get to Hamachi on the Atlantic side. And if you want to know how to do Ikejime like this to put your fish to sleep and bleed it humanely, go ahead and click the top right corner. It's going to take you to that video. So if there's a ton of current, what I'll do is I'll actually strap up my float to his so that it is covering a larger amount of area so we can pull ourselves forward sometimes. This is something that only happens when there are so many fish, sometimes I just don't know which one to shoot. And so I end up kind of tracking it, switching my mind, trying to figure out the best fish to get. And then sometimes that leads me to missing the shot. When you have this much commotion, this much fish blood, the fin slapping around, the sound of the gun, and a lot of fish swimming around, you're going to attract sharks. That's an earth shark, so they're kind of like dogs, but either way, you're going to have sharks kind of going towards your fish, and I was stringing them along my waist because of the current. It made it incredibly difficult to get back to my float, so for short periods of time, I would keep them on my waist. Which always means that my friend's watching my back and watching his. Woo -hoo -hoo! That's a nice one, bro. Woo -hoo -hoo! I was trying to make sure that that nurse shark wasn't going to get this macro if I shot it. But that amount of hesitation I had initially looking back let's have missed shot mm -hmm. 
I mean, this was a huge school. And they were staying around us. We were throwing the flashers. Uh, I sometimes gut the fish or take out the gills after they've been bled and use that kind of to keep the population going around there and keep the nutrients in the water. Nurse sharks aren't incredibly, you know, dangerous, but they could still latch onto your arm or latch onto the fish. I've had one take huge bites out of my fish. So, always keeping your distance, poking it, moving it, pushing it. I've never really had a, a crazy bad experience with nurse sharks, except for some scares that they always manage to sneak up behind me. I didn't try to swim away with the line. I tried to keep very light tension on it and it tore off. I'm not 100% comfortable with my old Rob Allen. I've always gone with my other guns, but the other gun wasn't loaded, so. Fuck! Yo, and my other gun is all the way over. Now this is the type of shot that will always get you a mackerel, right in the middle, right with the lateral line, and you're most of the time going to have it in your hands. By this point, I was really selective of which fish I was getting. I had enough, it wasn't a big deal. So I kind of wanted to just track it, see if there were better ones coming by, but ended up going for a solid one. These are great for sashimi. I actually didn't cook them as often, made some tacos out of them, but the sashimi from that fish is my favorite, along with Rainbow Runner. So it might look like I'm kicking away from him, but I'm trying to keep my place because the current is just that hard. So I'm trying to stand my ground, poke at him, and swim with all the fish on my hip. Eventually they realize that it's more work than it's worth. Yo! We got baby uh baby black tip! Your fish aren't safe, bro! Your fish aren't safe, there's a baby black tip! So even though it's a baby black tip, it can still take a decent chunk out of a fish. And my friend wasn't next to his float, which is where he had most of his fish. So by the time he would have noticed that baby black tip's gonna eat it. That black tip might have already okay. gotten a bite or two. Let's do that. Let's get them out. But we gotta be quick. One or two more fish and go in. We're making too much commotion. Alright, so let's go put our fish up. I'm gonna grab my gun. We've dealt with a lot larger black tips than that, so this was actually really cool to swim with. 
It's just having the fish around my waist. I wasn't as worried about getting bit, but, you know, having a chunk out of the fish. But the color on this shark was, I mean, amazing. It was like a silver, a shiny silver along. I mean, it was such a pretty f shark to swim with. I mean, I was stoked to see it swimming around. And the whole plan was to put it on top of my float for a little while while we got our last fish and got our gear together and then went in. I don't want them to be in the sun for too long. When we're swimming in, I'll, keep, I'll put them back on me. Huh? Put it on top for now. If we're gonna, if I'm gonna go grab my gun, I'm not here to back you up. Yeah, bro. So let, let's say we do this. I clean all my fish, bring in the school, shoot one or two more, and go in. I'm tired, man. I thought about shooting the mackerel, but I really wanted some more sushi, so I went for the banded rudder fish. And what did I say? There are sharks. All they're good for is to startle you. Under you, Spanish. While grabbing my gun, I accidentally knocked my line of fish into the water. So I immediately, my heart skipped a beat and I just like swam right over to it. It's pretty heavy. So pretty much we've been fighting the current this whole time. Once we got the fish we needed, we said we're gonna make it a short day. It's only 9.30 in the morning, but I'm tired. It feels like a full day of swimming. It doesn't help, I haven't been diving for about three to four days. Right. Not go against the current completely, but swim with it a little bit. And just kind of try and go straight in if we can. If not, we'll have to walk on the shore. I don't want to put the fish back in the water because of the shark is still following us. He's going to give up after a while. Then we're going to get the fish out of the sun. Man, I'm tired. So it's not a big shark. It's a, it looks like a small black tip. But they can still take our fish. They can still take a finger if they want to. Let's see if he's still down there. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.